Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a brand new pistol on the market, and that is from Zero Delta. It is their 9mm Glock clone called the Zero F 9. It's the name. Why did you censor it? Don't censor that. That's it's part of the name. Let's try this again. We have the Zero F 9. Why did you censor it? Again, don't censor that, okay? I it's called the Zero, Z-R-O-F-K-S-9. Zero fucks nine, ha ha, gosh you mother. That's right, this is called the Zero FKS Zero Fucks Nine from Zero Delta. This is a Gen 3 Glock 19 clone, knockoff, whatever you want to say. There's a whole bunch of familiarity here if you've seen the gun already in other videos uh, because I have some parts that are already on this firearm. But let's get into this. So I am an affiliate of Zero Delta, but I did purchase this with my own money through an affiliate discount that I get. So I paid about half price for this gun. I really couldn't wait to, to get my hands on it, uh, mainly because it's got the grit grips frame. And if you guys follow the channel, you know how much I love this frame for Glock clone frames. Now, this being a first shots video, let's get that rolling right now. It does come with a single uh, Magpul G19 magazine, and I put the TLR7X on it. So let's got a nice trigger in it. I think this might be the grit grips trigger. I'm not fully sure. One of the things I just noticed was the ejection pattern was like all over my head. Like I was getting hit in the shoulder and arms and all that, uh, instead of out here to the side. Um, not a huge deal, but something that I should be looking out for in the future. Now this trigger feels very much like the Grit Grips trigger did when I reviewed it. Very short reset, look at that. With probably a three and a half, four pound break. Very, very, very short reset. I mean, look at that. Probably, I mean, an eighth of an inch reset, if that. Uh, but that first mag shot well. Um, <clears throat> slide lock back. Let's get into some more. All right, let's do an accuracy test. I'm right here at this cardboard target at about seven yards. And I put a the uh, Glock mag with the plus two base plate. This actually has uh, <clears throat> 17, 18, 18 rounds in it, I believe right now. Uh, I have a total of 200 rounds loaded up in mags. So. Let's go for headshots. All right, the group's all just a fuzz low left. Uh, let's go check that out. I'll be honest with you, I would love to take claim to the smiley face, but that wasn't intentional. Uh, nice group. I was aiming here, so I'm a little left, a little low left, um, one little flyer here, but everything is the size of my fist or smaller for 17 rounds, so 17, 18 rounds, so not bad at all. All right, so I got a ETS, the Omni Mag with 15 rounds in it. Uh, I'm at 10, 12 yards. Uh, what do I say about the grip that I haven't said in multiple videos for? Love these grips. I've said multiple times that I think these grips uh, should be the blueprint for what all grips are, at least for people with big hands, my hand, and stuff like that. Uh, it's got great undercuts in the trigger guard. The thumb ledge is second to none. Uh, the grip texture goes in all the places that I like and all the places a lot of people complain there isn't any. Uh, all the way up here in the side, all the way up the back of the beaver tail, uh, things like that. Got that great mag release, that curved, knurled mag release. Um, let's, uh... Ace. All right, hopefully that, that's annoying. 
I mean, I'm getting brass literally back in my face, but those last few shots, they shot over here. So hopefully that was a break-in thing. So back here at 25 yards uh, on a steel target, let's do this. All right, I am getting hit in the face with this brass and it's starting to piss me off. But functioning very well. So the slide, they have uh, some slide options for color. I chose a slide that was not optics cut. I know it's a sin these days um, because there's actually a local company that I want to give a try that does milling uh, for uh, slide cuts and this being a Glock size, Glock shaped slide, I'm fairly certain they'll be able to do it. Uh, so I actually want to give them a shot and uh, kind of review their work as well. So I ordered it without the optics cut on purpose, uh, but this is what they call the Vortex Bronze color for the slide. It's a super cool color. It's almost got a purple tinge to it. Um, I don't have anything in, the, in a bronze color, so uh, I thought that would be pretty cool. Now. For who makes the slide, I'm unsure, but it looks an awful lot like a combat armory slide. Uh, just the, the, the little cuts that are in the side of it and the way the spacing and all that of the uh, front and rear serrations, it looks an awful lot like a combat armory slide. What I wanna do now is test that short trigger reset and see how fast That's gonna take some getting used to. I thought I outran the trigger at first. Like I, I thought I didn't hit the reset in time because that is a short, short reset. Um, but with a little bit of practice, what's hap what happened there? There we go. With a little bit of practice, I'm sure I can get super quick with that. So the barrel, it has zero. Let me wipe this off a little bit. Zero etched into the chamber of the barrel there and it protrudes just a little bit from the slide and has just the slightest crown bevel in the end of it again i'm not sure who makes the barrel for them um, but it seems to be you know fairly accurate um, or really accurate by those headshots let's go after the steel again um, again that seems like a pretty nice barrel Damn, I, need, I know I need to work on my accuracy with this thing. Um, trigger's nice, barrel seems good. I love the color, the, the bronze color, and of course the grit grip frame. I, I, I've talked about it exhaustively, love the frame. All right, so probably the last thing to talk about will be the slide stop, slide release. It is that bump style, you got, got the little hump in it and it works well everything releases fine uh, mags fit fine uh, the frame has a little bit of a mag well in it which is nice everything seems to function well i'm just getting a lot of brass back in my face hopefully maybe if i break it in a little bit more or change the extractor or something like that that will change um, but on the on the one i have in my hand that would be the only downfall thus far last mag let's do some more accuracy at this cardboard target at seven yards. They are bouncing off my head, coming back in my face. It's pretty annoying. All right, so here's my group. Not great, not horrible. A little bit bigger than the size of my, well, the main part of the group is the size of my fist with these three guys here. Don't know what that's all about, but yeah, not bad. All A-zone uh, for, what was that? I think I filled this one up on 19 rounds. I am calling this a clone. You've heard me use those terms interchangeably, clone and knockoff, because this fits all Glock parts and it fits Glock holsters. 
uh, a lot of the clones out there either don't take all Glock parts or they don't and or they don't fit a Glock holster. They fit polymer 80 holsters. Um, so uh, I am calling this a Glock clone. Uh, it shoots. The trigger is better than OE Glock. Nice short reset, about three and a half pound trigger pull. Um, the uh, grit grips frame has an 18 degree frame. So, but I am calling this a Glock clone. Where do I land on it? So let's start with price to the YouTube sensors. Uh, I don't have to worry about it over on Rumble, but to the YouTube sensors, um, I'm going to talk about price. I'm not selling this. I'm not anything like that. Well, that sounds like some very loud and expensive freedom over there. Love it. Anyway, um, to the YouTube sensors, I'm not selling this. I don't sell regulated goods. Um, I'm not selling any firearms whatsoever. I'm just relaying information to the viewer so that they can get uh, all the information they can to make the best decision possible. These start at $399. So I don't think that's a bad price at the starting point. Now that is the black on black version. So if you have a black slide, black grip, um, that's the black on black version. If you change colors, anywhere on this it goes up to 425 424 99 um but it goes up to 425 uh, which i still don't think is a horrible price considering that's right around used glock 19 prices um but you're getting the thumb ledges this phenomenal grip uh, a kind of fancy cool looking slide and things like that uh, but you're paying you, you know the value in this really is this lower half for this gun uh, i probably am going to throw an extractor in this and see if that solves that issue that's the one and only issue uh, i think overall it's a really good gun all right everybody thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it uh you'll see that again at the thousand round review i've been doing that lately so i can get more videos out of a single gun first shots thousand rounds or right around thousand rounds so you'll see that at the thousand round review next if not some instagram posts and things like that go check me out over on rumble i am giving them another another shot and it's starting to work out pretty well for me uh so the rumble link will be down below don't forget to hit like share subscribe leave a comment down below as well it all helps with the channel god knows gun tubers need all the help they can get here on youtube thank you to murphy's guns for helping me out with this uh with well with everything that i do over the last year go check them out their instagram link will be below as well and and i appreciate everybody out there that is supporting the channel uh as of this recording i just passed 50,000 subscribers yesterday uh so that is a phenomenal awesome landmark for me uh, 12 years of doing this and uh, finally got to one of those big landmarks. So thank you guys out there. We'll talk to you later.